Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. I've got a new feature for you that's going to make it quick and easy for your clients to approve and reject products within the product list. Now this is particularly useful if you are wanting to be in charge of ordering the products for your client rather than letting them shop the look themselves. So here's how it works. Once you have your designs ready and your product list in place, you can go to the Manage What Your Client Sees menu and at the bottom we've got a new option here where it says replace shop links with approve and reject buttons. So if I turn this toggle on, I'm now removing the shop links so my client cannot shop the look, but instead of just removing the shop links, I'm actually going to be replacing them with approve and reject buttons. So I'm going to log out as a designer and I'm going to log back in as a client so you can see what your client will see. Okay, so now that I'm logged in as a client, you can see that for every single item within the product list, we now have approve and reject buttons. So your client can just quickly go through and start approving items for order. And if they want, they can go ahead and reject specific items. And when they reject an item, they can actually also add feedback to it to let you know why they're not loving that particular piece. Now once your client has made all of these selections, they're going to show automatically on your end. So again, I'm going to log out as a client and I'll log back in as a designer to show you what you will now see on your account. Okay, so now we're logged back in as a designer and you can see that all the selections that your client made on their account are now showing on your account. So you can start the process to uh, begin ordering the items that have already been approved for order and you can see that you've got one item here that has been rejected. If you roll over the icon, you'll be able to see the feedback from your client explaining why they don't like this particular piece. From here, you can go ahead uh, and edit your design board, switch out that piece for another option, and then resubmit the design for, uh, to your client for further approval. So that's how the new feature works. And it should make it really quick and easy for both you and your client to keep track of the items that have been approved for order and the items that haven't. So go ahead, give it a try, let us know what you think, and as always, thanks for watching.